Hey guys, today we're going to be going over differentiation in Mathematica. So the first thing we're going to go over in, to uh, understand differentiation in Mathematica is notation with which the differentiation is expressed. So we're going to go over three types of notation in this notebook. The first is Lagrangian notation. Lagrangian notation simply denotes derivatives with tick marks or um, prime marks. So f prime of x is an example of this right here. This notation is, however, is not explicit with, with what uh, derivative the function is being taken the derivative with respect to. The next type of notation we're going to go, be going over is Newtonian notation. Newtonian notation denotes derivatives with a dot above the, the, the dependent variable. So an example of this is y double dot. So Newtonian notation is usually only used when time is the independent variable. And I've only seen it used myself in uh, physics. For example, in the intermediate mechanics course, the physics majors have to take. The next type of notation we're going to be uh, going over is Leibniz notation. So this explicitly states what type of derivative is being taken with respect to. So say you have a function y. Um, and you want to take it with respect to x. You simply state dy over dx, and that denotes exactly the derivative that you want to take with this function. Um, so all three of these notations are used in single variable calculus. However, not all of them are, are useful if you were to apply them to multivariate calculus. Next thing we're going to go over is partial differentiation. Uh, so basically it's derivation, uh, differentiation in multivariate calculus. Uh, the highlighted object right now is df dx, and that is the partial derivative of f with respect to x. So say f is a function of x and y. Um, df dx is simply say, stating that the partial derivative of f with respect to x is being taken right then. So partial derivatives are scalar quantities. However, they can be put into vectors like the gradients and matrices like the Hessian in order to figure out more um, things about the function, or whatever you're trying to analyze. So say we have a function f of xy. The first two partial derivatives of this function are fx and fy. The next four second derivatives are fxx, fxy, fyx, and fyy. The first two derivatives can be formed the gradients, while the four second derivatives can form the Hessian. So the notation used to describe these derivatives can be understood as follows. The closer the letter of the variable is to the function, the earlier the partial there's uh, for that variable was taken. So for f of x, y, the partial with respect to x was taken first, and then the partial with respect to y was taken second. This next part is going over differentiation, explicit differentiation in Mathematica. So if you ever want to find something out about uh, a function or a command in Mathematica, simply state question mark, and then whatever command it is. So when I, when I press shift enter here, the input is going to be question mark D, and the output is going to be all the stuff you need to know about it. These two chevrons right here, um, if you click on them, you'll be able to see uh, basically a basic uh, tab that tells you all about what you need to know for that command itself. It goes to basic information, applications, options, etc., etc. Next thing you can see is the input for f of x, y f of x, y is a multivariate function that takes in two inputs, x and y, and outputs a variable, I mean, outputs a number. This function is x squared plus y cubed plus x times y. The derivative of f with respect to y of 3 for 3 times, as can be seen in this second input right here into the command, is 6. You can also, this can also be stated by saying uh, d of f, x, and y, comma, y, comma, y, comma, y. That's simply stating, hey, Mathematica, I want you to take the derivative of f of x, y with respect to y three times. And as you see, you can get the same output. This next thing that we're doing over here is simply taking the gradient. So grad 1 equals the derivative with respect to f of x and y, comma, and you're being passed a list right here. This object right here is a list. List of mathematics are denoted with braces. And this simply tells the derivative command, hey, I want you to take the gradient of this function. And what is output? Nothing other than the gradient of that function. 
the thing that we're next going to be able to do is take the derivative of f of xy with respect to x first and then y. So you can see what I've called it over here, fxy equals dot 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 dot. Let's look at the function and partial and differentiate it manually. So say we want to take the derivative with respect to x first. We get 2x plus y. The derivative of this function with respect to x with respect to y is simply going to be 1. The next thing we're doing right here is simply the gradient again. So the last thing we're doing right here in this video is going over the Hessian matrix. The Hessian matrix is something that allows you to, it's analogous to, it is used in an analogous way as a second derivative test is used in single variable calculus. So you can use it to find max, mins, and inflection points. But for multivariate calculus, inflection points are saddles. So as you can see, the input for this is d f of xy comma the list xy comma 2. That's simply stating, hey, I want you to take the Hessian of this guy. And then the command forward slash forward slash matrix form is simply stating, hey, Mathematica, I want you to put these two vectors into a matrix. And it does. This next command right here is taking the Hessian for a multivariate function of three variables. And as you can see, the output is a matrix that is 3 by 3. 